ESET Mail Security for Microsoft Exchange Server. ESET Mail Security for Microsoft Exchange, sometimes abbreviated EMSX, allows ESET to integrate at the transport and VS API levels of Exchange. This allows us to scan for malware and spam in email as it enters the network, all while retaining the same level of protection of other ESET products on the local host. The ESET Mail Security for Microsoft Exchange product features the same protection that users are accustomed to on their endpoints and other servers. Protection modules such as Detection of Potentially Wanted Applications, or PUAs, Host-Based Intrusion Prevention System, or HIPS, Web Protocol Filtering, Device Control, ESET Live Grid, and more. Both Edge Transport and Hub Transport servers have anti-spam features enabled by default. This is a desired configuration in Exchange organization with an Edge Transport server. The Edge role is the preferred location for anti-spam scanning because it allows ESET mail security to reject spam early in the process without putting an unnecessary load on network layers. Using this configuration, incoming messages are filtered by ESET mail security on the Edge Transport server so they can be safely moved to the tra Hub Transport server without the need for further filtering. However, if your organization only has one exchange server running all of the roles, the filtering is done on that local server for both transport and database scanning. ESET Mail Security for Microsoft Exchange Server supports high availability environments in exchange with our cluster feature. If your exchange is running in a database availability group, you can synchronize settings and communication between the nodes in the group by enabling the cluster feature. This cluster feature also allows you to push not only settings, but the product itself and the license information to all members of the cluster. The advanced protection features of ESET Mail Security, such as Heuristics Engine, have been implemented into mail scanning and filtering. This allows us to use more intelligent analysis and make better decisions based off the email sender, wording, contents, etc. This will actually result in less mail actually making it through and less false positives uh, being accidentally quarantined. When you look at the product itself on the graphical user interface, you actually see you have a very few options on the left-hand side just to cut down on the overall clutter of the product. Under the monitoring area, you have just some general information. I have my license information, my virus signature database information, my statistics, as well as some overall information regarding the server and the product itself. Heading down to the log files area, this is where we can filter down and see individual logs uh, in regards to individual events, such as HIPs, detected threats, scans, events on the overall server, et cetera, et cetera. You can also add filtering here to filter based off certain items. Under the scan, this is where I can run a scan on the mailbox database itself only, on shared folder scans. I can scan the local disks, or I can create a custom scan, do all of the above, or however I want to scan. Mail Security 6 has a built-in local quarantine that actually does have a filter as well. So not only does it have a local quarantine that administrators can come into and release mail or delete mail uh, fully from here, but it also actually has a web-based one as well. So you can actually access this uh, anywhere in the network as long as you have access to that VLAN that it is on. The Update tab just gives you the option to update the product and some information about the virus signature database. The Setup tab gives you a brief overview of a lot of the settings and allows you to jump into more advanced settings with the click of a single button here. You can obviously come in here, turn items on and off with just sliding the little sliders from left to right. Under the Setup tab is where I can actually enter the advanced setup or import or export existing settings from a previous install. Under the Tools tab, we have a lot of our different other options that you can see here, such as protection statistics with color-coded rings. We can see our uh, cluster information here. If we were a member of a cluster, it would show all member servers. Uh, we can collect logs from here if you need to submit those to customer care. We have our command line interface as well as our Sys Inspector, our Sys Rescue Live, and a uh, quarantine management from here. Help and support will give you information as well as uh, links to knowledge base articles, links to starting a customer care request, and one more, one more cleaner for the product itself. Heading to the advanced setup now. As you can see, a lot of these settings are already blue. These are actually out of the box of best practices we've already set up for you. So there's not a lot of need to go in here and tweak any of the settings like with other uh, competitor antivirus products. So as we go down the list, you can actually see a lot of things are already on and enabled for your best practice protection. You can obviously come in here and create your own filtering rules and verification rules, such as IP address, uh, domain, senders, block, on, you know, things like that. 
third-party DNSBLs if you want to support a third-party DNSBL. And you can create your own custom rules here, such as filtering of certain attachments and uh, items based off uh, maybe a subject line or sender line. Mail quarantine, again, is the local quarantine. We have also the web interface where you can choose the settings having to do with that. And then heading down to computer is actually the local host OS protection. So you can see here I have the detection of potentially unwanted applications. This is applied from a server, a remote administration server. So all these settings can be changed based off policies in the remote administration server, taking away the need to actually visit any local servers to configure uh, your security settings on them. The Mail Security V6 does support the shared local cache, allowing you to stand up an appliance in the network using it as a caching server. This allows, uh, if you use a cloning process or an imaging process with your servers, to share a common base image, to cut down on your scanning time to prevent scanning of the same files over and over and over again. If you have 10 servers all from the same base image, most likely they're all have the same version of notepad.exe. It doesn't need to be scanned 10 times. It can be scanned once, and all the other servers can read that result and take action based off of that. Heading down to real-time protection, you see the best practices are already implemented out of the box. No need to come in here and tweak a lot of stuff unless you want to increase your cleaning level or enable some other features of the product. Uh, not much you need to do here. Same thing with on-demand scan. You can tweak your settings to uh, whatever you wish for your whatever profile you wish as well. Heading down to HIPS, that is our host-based intrusion prevention system that we talked about. The advanced memory scanner and the exploit blocker come in very handy for blocking the new file coder variants and new, uh, new unknown variants. That is our heuristics engine taking a look at the looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, probably a duck thing, and uh, able to make uh, decisions based off its uh, analysis. The device control allows you to actually block up to nine different device types, uh, all the way up to including all devices from being used in the machine. So you can actually secure your servers one further from anyone plugging in any devices such as iPhones, Android devices, flash drives, CDs, and DVDs. The ESET Live Grid is the cloud reputation system, very recommended to be enabled, especially for file coders and newer detections. Uh, this allows the, the product to query the Live Grid system to receive information about unknown files. So say a file has been analyzed, uh, analyzed before that you have just gotten, you can actually query the live grid and see what the result was on that analysis from a different machine. Moving down here are some more settings about the cluster service if you are running at a database availability group. And then you have the final user interface that allows you to tweak the user interface to your settings, to your liking. The important one is this access setup, preventing people from accidentally uninstalling the product and putting a password on it. Again, all these settings can actually be pushed from the remote administration server, so there's no need to actually set any of these locally. That is our demonstration of the ESET Mail Security product for Microsoft Exchange Server. We thank you for your time, and thank you for choosing ESET.